Hi, good, good evening, everyone. It's great to be here. My name is Ali Duer. I'm a Kubernetes documentation contributor at Cloud Event Engineer, and I'm here to talk to you about you, actually. Uh, the people in this room represent almost a quarter million cloud native contributors from all over the world. And thanks to the Dan Cohn Scholarship very recently from increasingly diverse backgrounds. It's really, really special that we're all here. And I think it's more special that you can understand me. See, I'm speaking English. And whether it's spoken or whether it's going to be transcribed later, you can understand what I'm saying. When we zoom out a little bit, we're actually quite a small part of the globe. See, um, only a sixth of the world's population speaks English, and yet we have access to more than half of the content on the internet. And of course, that's social media, that's news, that's your favorite recipes, but crucially, it's science, education, technology, cloud native technology. Uh, it's my hope that you see that there's some disparity here um, and of course, you know, one proposal is, well, that's great, Ali. Let's uh, get everyone to learn English so that they can get access to this room and this kind of technology. I'd like to make a case that we can do a little bit more. See, one's language is their window to themselves, to the soul, and it's their window to the world, how they understand it. Learning in your first language is crucial uh, to your development as a professional, as a, as a working member of society, so much so that UNICEF has found that in certain countries, uh, learning in your first language at the primary and secondary levels can result into up to 60% better comprehension. That's basic math and science. Now, imagine what it must be like to learn about the Paxos algorithm or about containerization in a foreign language. This percolates into the workforce, right? It starts young. We start young with this disparity and it moves on into um, even here. The Lynx Foundation has found out recently that one in five of respondents to that survey are open source contributors who find English language a barrier to their contribution. That's just the people who respond to the survey. That's people already contributing. Imagine all the people out there who are smart, intelligent, creative, may already be into technology, who are just one conversation away from being the next contributor, your next client, your next manager, leader, customer. Uh, for what? For a language difference. Great news is, or well, it's my hope that it's clear that to strengthen and grow our cloud native community, we need to not just bring people onto the island where you and I understand each other, but to branch out and build bridges across language barriers. Great news is some amazing people in this room even um, have been working on that here in the CSF. So I've got three projects or initiatives for you. Uh, where if you're interested, you can help out with this initiative. So there are QR codes in the next slides. Pull out your phone if you're interested. First one is Kubernetes Community Days. Now, you're going to hear all about these in the, in the sessions that come up tomorrow and the day after. But the point I want to highlight here is that KCDs give you an opportunity to share knowledge in your locale, in your native language. And we've seen new languages in the last couple of years. It's a great place to go if you want to open up new markets. Whether you're a for-profit looking for customers, if you're looking for contributors, if you're looking for learners, whatever it is. The next one is the Kubernetes documentation. We all love it, right? Um, the documentation has been going through an extensive sort of um, ongoing effort to localize different languages. And we've got 15 so far, two coming up. And of course, language evolves all the time. And so we need your help all the time, making it accessible to as many people as we can. And the last of the three, the least, uh, the least load, let's say, is the Cloud Native Glossary. It's a project that started a few years ago whose aim is to uh, create a dictionary of terms used to introduce Cloud Native to non-technical people. And even that one's in almost, I think, 14 languages, four new ones since we last met in Chicago. And of course, this one's continually updating, and it needs, we need, we need your help, and you can help out. Underlying all these things is language. And like I said, it's the window to the soul. It's what we use to understand the world around us and connect to people around us. And that's what community is. And uh, believe me, you, it's uh, not our smarts, not my smarts at least, uh, not my hard work or your hard work. It's the community that makes open source work. It's us getting together to work on problems, bringing diverse perspectives and solutions to the things that we want to improve in the world. So in the spirit of this talk, I'd like to say shukran and have a great night. Thank you.